Hi, I'm Rebecca Sager, and this is FoxNewsLatino.com. Today we're speaking with Julissa Arce. She is a speaker, author, and an immigrant rights activist. In her new book, My Underground American Dream, My True Story as an Undocumented Immigrant Who Became a Wall Street Executive, she talks about being a VP at Goldman Sachs on Wall Street, all while still being an undocumented immigrant. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about working at Goldman Sachs. What was that like? It's a very high stress environment. Um, you really, everyone around you is so smart and so driven and so type A that you never feel like you can take a breath because if you're not willing to do the work, then somebody else is and you'll be passed up for promotions. It's very competitive, um, very competitive environment, a very cutthroat, it can be very cutthroat environment. And of course, when you look around, um, you don't see very many women and you don't see very many Latinas. Right. And you were doing this all while still being undocumented. So the pressure of that had to be pretty incredible. How did you kind of manage that? Yeah. It was, um, it was pretty stressful and difficult to know that on any given day somebody could find out mm -hmm. the truth about how I was working at Goldman Sachs and I could be deported, I could lose my job, I could end up in a de detention center. And, I, and so I went to work knowing that every single day. And wow. there were times when if I got called into a boss's office unexpectedly, I would think, oh my God, like this is, they, this is it. Like they know, they found out. Um, and in some ways, though, having that kind of really high pressure environment helped me to be able to suppress almost the worry about my immigration status because I was f at the front of my mind was, I got to do this job, I got to get promoted, I got to get the next race, I got to get the next trade, I got to close this deal. And in some ways, that, that helped to, to ease the worry about my immigration status. I'm sure people are kind of curious, how do you work at a company like Goldman Sachs if you're undocumented? Like technically, how does that work? Yeah, so when I was 19 years old, uh, I lost my source of income that I was using to pay for college. And the only way for me to continue my education was to find a job to be able to pay for it. And that's when I made the decision to buy fake documents, a fake green card and a fake social security card. And those are the documents that I used to work at Goldman Sachs. Now, these papers were completely fake. They didn't belong to anyone. I wasn't stealing someone's identity. Um, and I still ask myself sometimes how I don't know how they actually worked because they were fake documents. Um, and of course, it's something that I wish I didn't have to do. I wish that there could have been a legal path for me to fix my status, but, but there wasn't. That was my only choice. Yeah, well, and you said in the book, it was really interesting, you talked about the fact that you didn't fit the profile and so people weren't checking into your paperwork, which is a whole other situation. I yeah, think. exactly, right? When, when you graduate from a uh, top five business school in the nation and you graduate with honors and you present yourself in a certain manner, no one's going to question your, your immigration papers because, because of the stereotypes that we associate with people like myself. You started as an intern and became a vice president. So, and then now you are documented, you're a U.S. citizen. So tell me a little bit about that whole kind of transition. How did that happen? Um, so I became an American citizen on August 8th of 2014. I was married to a U.S. citizen and that's how I was able to adjust my, adjust my status. And one of the biggest reasons I was able to do that is because I came here on a tourist visa. I didn't cross the border and that technicality makes all the difference in, in the world. And so now you're doing a lot of immigrant activist work. So what, how does that, what are you doing with that? Yeah, um, well I realized that there are still millions of people who live the reality that I lived in for almost a decade of my life. And so I co-founded a scholarship fund called the Ascend Educational Fund, and we provide scholarship, college scholarships and mentorship to immigrant students regardless of their immigration status. Because for me, education was what opened so many doors of opportunity. So I want to make sure that the next generation of immigrant students has access to those opportunities regardless of their immigration status. What was the impetus to write this book? Yeah, it was the rhetoric in our country right now around immigrants is very harmful and very dangerous. And there are so many stereotypes that we associate with immigrants, with Latinos. And I am hopeful that my book can help 
to break down those stereotypes and that they can change the dialogue that we have around these issues. And that it can also inspire young people who are, who are in my shoes, or even if they weren't undocumented, but just being a Latino in this country has its very own set of challenges. And so I'm hopeful that people can pick up the book. And while it's not a how-to book, I do think that people will be able to pick up some of those tips and some of the strategies that I used in my own career. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, well, follow this story and other stories like it on foxnewslatino.com.